Welcome back to another episode of N Scale Friday. I'm John, and today we have a model from Atlas that we're going to take a look at. So let's head over to the workbench. All right, here's what we're looking at today. This is an N Scale 53 foot Evans double plug door RBL. This is from Atlas, and it's in their master series. Looking at Atlas's website, it looks like they have about six different road names for this model with a couple different road numbers in each. And they also offer it in an undecorated version. The undecorated version goes for $14.95, and the decorated versions go for $22.95. Your best bet would be to go to the Atlas website and see if they have the one you're looking for. So taking a look at the side of this model, you can see that the detail around the doors themselves looks really good. And also looking at the logo over here with the magnifying visor reveals it's done perfectly. There's no gaps or anything. Just overall the model presents very nicely coming straight out of the box. All right, so this is one of those times where it's kind of hard to see because everything around it is much brighter and the end of the car is black, but I've done my best to make it show up. And what I'm hoping you'll see is that there's a separately applied brake wheel here. And if you look carefully, you can see that there are molded ladders to either side of the coupler there. And they're done in such a way that they almost look like separately applied parts. And then you can also tell from this angle that there's a knuckle coupler. And taking a look at the A end reveals the same kind of detail. There's a molded tack board just to the left of the right side ladder. And then on the left side here, closer to the camera, you can see there's another molded ladder. It looks pretty good overall. The roof doesn't provide any amazing surprises. It just has that typical sort of X pattern all along the top. And what I usually say about these kind of roofs is that they take weathering really well. You just get a little bit of weathering powder or even a wash on this and it will really make those patterns pop. The bottom of the model shows molded brake detail and from this angle you can see that these are actually truck mounted couplers on here. And here's a close up of the trucks. These are 70 ton roller bearing trucks. This is another solid release from Atlas. Somehow they've got these molds looking very realistic. And I think that once you get a model like this and add the weathering to it, it really makes all those details pop. So good job, Atlas. I'll see you next time. 